Hi, Mark from Whole Latte Love. We got Morgan behind the camera. Hey, Mark, what do we have here today? Today we're going to take a look at the Gaja Brera and the Gaja Synchrony Logic RS. That RS means rapid steam. Um, these two machines are lower cost, they're at the lower end of the super automatic uh, world. Uh, when we talk super automatic espresso machines, we're talking machines that go bean to cup. So you put fresh beans in, you get espresso, long coffee out. They also both steam milk. So let's talk about some of the similarities between the two. Okay. Um, again, you're going to go from bean to cup, so in both you're going to have a place to put coffee beans. Um, both have adjustable grinders. Um, on the Brera, it's, it's five steps uh, to adjust the grind. There's a few more we'll see in a moment on the Synchrony Logic. Also, both machines will have a bypass doser. This is where you can use pre-ground coffee. So if you have some pre-ground decaf and want to decaf later in the day or something, you can make that happen mm -hmm. on both. Um, both have a water reservoir. Here's the one on the Synchrony Logic. Let's take a look at the bean hopper over here. Um, so beans in here, you can put a lot more in there. This has a lot finer control of the grind adjustment. Yep, 18 grind settings. 18 yeah. grind settings on, and five over on the uh, Brera. And then you also control your coffee strength or the amount of coffee that's going to be ground up here as well. And we'll see over on the Brera, that's handled a little bit differently. Um, so the Synchrony Logic is, is really maybe one of the easiest to use machines. There's only three br buttons and a dial on it. Um, so for the amount of coffee you want on the Synchrony Logic, you use this dial here and you turn between one and eight ounces. So you can get an eight ounce co long coffee off of, off of the Synchrony Logic. Over on the Brera, it's a little different. You have two programmable buttons. Now one you generally use for espresso and one for a long coffee here. Um, these come preset with some volumes from the factory or you can program it to deliver as much as you want. You just press and hold. When you get the amount you want in your cup, you press again and then the next time you use the machine, it'll deliver that. Now we talked about the dosing over on the Synchrony Logic. It was done with a dial up in the bean hopper. Here, the strength of your coffee is determined using this button here. So I just switched it. That's where you go if you want to use the bypass doser. And then you can go from three strength levels indicated by the beans here. Um, both machines will steam milk. The Brera uses a Panarello wand, which is an auto-frothing wand. It automatically injects air. You'll do it with a pitcher, and we'll show you how that works in a minute. Going over to the Synchrony Logic, it's maybe even a little easier. It uses a device called a cappuccinatory. So it has a pickup tube that you place into a pitcher of milk. You can use a milk carton, you know, whatever you want, whatever is easy for you. I just am using a pitcher here because that's handy. Um, then over on the side is a lever that you uh, turn to get steam through here, and that will put a froth right into your cup. Um, over here, um, you have spouts for espresso. Um, these are adjustable up and down, whoops, up and down, so you can go right into like a shot glass for an espresso, or if you're going to do a longer coffee, and again, you can make one up to eight ounces here, you'd put it under there. Um, over here, uh, we have selection. Both machines will put out hot water out of the uh, steaming area. So if you want hot water, you just press this button, flip the lever, and you get hot water for things like tea, oatmeal, hot chocolate. Um, it's also got a button here if you're going to use a bypass doser. And to make your coffee, you just to start it, you press this, and again, you select the volume that you want with the dial over here. Um, taking a look again at the Brera, to activate steaming or hot water, it's a knob on the front here. Go left for steam and to the right for hot water. Um, let's also take a look at how, it, how the drip trays and where things are on the machine. Now we saw the water tank over on the Synchrony Logic. On the Brera, everything slides out from the front. So our water tank is over on the side here. So you can just pull that out to fill it right here at the machine, take it to the sink. Um, this is the grounds drawer. So used coffee, the pucks will end up in here. And I think that was eight that that holds. That's right. Yep. Um, on the Synchrony Logic, oh, let's take a look at the drip tray real quick. That pulls out the front. So any spillage goes into the tray. You just take this off every once in a while, empty it out. And it has a little pop-up indicator here to let you know when that needs to be emptied. Um, going over to the Synchrony Logic, the drag drawer comes out the side. So any used, any of the coffee pucks will go right into there. You just pull that out and empty it. And the drip tray just pulls right out the front like this. And just empty that. 
Um, also on the synchrony logic, something that Brewer doesn't have, a little different, it's on a turntable. So if you have limited counter space, you need to get at that drawer on the side. Um, really easy to get to mm -hmm. by just turning it. Both also have an area up top if you wanted to, it, just some passive warming for your cups, so just some heat from the machine ends up up here and it'll keep your cups warm when you're not using them. That's always a good idea. Yep, nice to have that storage space. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, both machines use what's called a brew group to actually, it's kind of like the little mini barista. So they're very similar in both machines. Um, they pull out like so. This about once a week, you'll just take it to the sink and rinse it with some wa some tap water, let it dry out, snap it back in, and close it up, and she's ready to go again. So, one of the major differences between these machines is obviously the size of the machine. Yeah, so on the, on the Brera, you're going to need a little more counter space for the uh, Synchrony Logic. On the Brera, the, we're about 10 inches wide. On the Synchrony Logic, eh, just a hair under 14. Also, a little bit of a height difference, something you want to keep in mind if you've got counters hanging over the top. So the, the highest part here is the, the top of that bean hopper, and that comes up to oh, between 15 and 16 inches. Um, most cabinetry is going to be at 18 inches overhanging, so you, it's, it's possible to get that off of there. Brewers, not, you're not going to have a problem with overhanging cabinetry at that. That's real short, um, about 13 and a half inches. Okay. So... Let me just do, we'll do a quick espresso on the Brera. So let that go. You hear the grinder running. I've got it set to its strongest setting right now. And I've already programmed in a little over an ounce shot here. Um, so we'll let that go. We'll go over to the Synchrony Logic. And again, here you can vary whatever amount you want. So there's no programming on this one. So I'm going to set it to oh, just a little over an ounce or so and to make our espresso here. Press the button, you can hear that grinder going again. Mm -hmm. And I, I really like, I think some people will enjoy just the real ease of use of the Synchrony Logic. You know, there's no programming, no pushing and holding any buttons. It's just, you know, set the grind you want, set the dose you want, set the volume you want, push the button. That's right. And, and if you don't change, you don't change. So there's our shot done on the Brera. You can see it's got, you know, some nice crema there. Mm -hmm. Um, a little tip of these machines, grind finer for espresso, turn it coarser if you're going to do a longer coffee to avoid an over-extraction. Again, there's a shot off the uh, Synchrony Logic. That's kind of short, maybe a little un under an ounce, so you just work with a dial, you find the spots where that is. So, we're going to stop for a minute, we'll get set up, and what we're going to do is we're going to make a cappuccino over on the Synchrony Logic, and we'll do a quick latte over on the Brera. Sounds good. Okay, so we're going to do a latte on the Brera, cappuccino over on the Synchrony Logic. Um, what I'm going to do is first purge the steam wand here of any water. So I'm just going to go over to steam, let it push out any water, and we'll put that back. So this machine's going to be pretty close, ready to go. We're going over to the Logic. I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I'm just going to flip over on the side here and let it get any water out. So this, all the steam systems and all machines are going to have a little bit of water in them at first use, so you want to always purge that out. So I'm going to keep going until I start to see some milk come up through the tube here, and then we'll shut that down. So there's the milk. Okay. So now we're going to go back over <laughs> to the Brera. Now we'll just give one more check here, make sure it's ready to go. Okay. So I'm using a 12-ounce pitcher. I've got my milk up just to blow where the spout comes out. The uh, Panarello wand, it's not a frothing wand on the Brera. So I'm just going to let it inject air. It's got a little hole there that sucks the air in with it. So it's heating, and we're going to try and find a spot where the milk kind of rolls as we hold the uh, wand in there. Now, I like my milk about 140 degrees, so I'm feeling the pitcher. And depending on how you like your froth, um, it, once you get the amount that you want, you can raise the pitcher up so that the milk covers the air intake hole and it'll stop adding air to the froth and just continue to heat. It's starting to get a little, little warm there. So I know 140 degrees is right about when the pitcher's just getting uncomfortable to hold, which is right about there. So I'm going to turn it off with the wand still under the milk. Pull that out. 
Always wipe your wand down. Got to keep these guys clean. Mm -hmm. Give them another purge. And, yep, get any excess milk out there. Okay. Now, usually I wouldn't let these sit like this, but we're going to go over and get our uh, cappuccino going here. I'm going to check this one more time, make sure it's ready to go. Yep. So now we just place our cup under the cappuccino tori, turn it on. And while that's doing that, why don't we just pour our latte. So I'm just going to swirl my pitcher a little bit, give it a couple taps, get rid of the big bubbles. And I'm no artist, so that's we okay. won't attempt that. Oh, there's our latte. You see how easy that is. So we take that off. Now we'll put it under the spouts here and we'll just do our shot of espresso. For a cappuccino, of course, we always want to have a rag around for the little drips. So you do have to watch your milk on the Synchrony Logic because you can't program the amount. So right. you have to turn that on and off. Right. And also, you can't, um, you do have to steam and brew separately on this machine. Yep, some machines you can brew and steam at the same time, and this is not one of those machines. Well, most, mostly on semi-automatic machines, mm -hmm. the kind where you're actually packing a port of filter. Yep. And then at any time, you know, I, I've got this program to deliver about an ounce and a half of espresso. Say, I, oh, I'm, I'm getting too much. I can stop it at any time just by pressing that button, no matter what I've set it to do. Okay. So there's our... There's our cappuccino with a nice cap of foam, some beautiful layering. Yep, looking good. And our, our latte from the Brera. So now these two machines, are, they're very, very close in price usually. Um, but, you know, if you want, if you like that auto frothing capability where you don't have to do a thing other than put your cup under a spout, um, take a look at that. Some people also really, really like just how easy uh, it is to control this machine in a manual sense. And you get a little much finer control of grind on the Synchrony Logic. Um, and the dosing, you have a little bit more uh, control there as well with a knob up here rather than just setting from three different strengths. So that's the Gaja Brera and the Gaja Synchrony Logic RS. And Morgan, where do we get them? They are both available at wholelattelove.com. And so there you go. Thanks for watching. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelattelove.com.